Hello everyone and welcome to another video on the channel. I am the Sour Sailor and welcome to Sea of Thieves. Today I've decided to get the Curse of the Sunken Sorrow. Now for those that don't know, the Curse of the Sunken Sorrow is a curse that you get which will change your appearance in the game if you meet the following criteria. Let's have a look. So if we head to Reputation and into Build Rats and into the Sunken Kingdom we'll see that there's some commendations. Now these commendations, you must complete a certain number of commendations in order to get the curse. So if we scroll over to the curse, you can see it says, earn the curse of the sunken kingdom commendation. Now, if we scroll down to the bottom, there is a commendation called the curse of the sunken kingdom. It says complete Larina's legend of the sunken kingdom voyage and uncover the final mystery of the sunken kingdom. Now, what is that voyage? What, what, what is it? Now, Lorena will give you this quest if you complete all the journals for each of the shrines. So let's have a look at these journals. This is the commendation that we need. So the mysteries of the sunken kingdom. It says uncover secrets throughout the sunken kingdom. 29 or 30 is what I'm up to. Uh, I deliberately left one so that actually you guys can see me completing it. So what do we have to do to get that? Well, each of the shrines labeled here have five journals that will, you will need to find throughout going through the shrine, going through the level, the dungeon as such. Uncover the secrets. So we need to uncover the secrets. We need to complete all of these. As you can see, I've done them all apart from the shrine of tribute, which I haven't completed yet. So what we'll do is we'll head to each one in order. So once we've completed them all and we've unlocked the mysteries of the sunken kingdom, we'll then go and do the voyage for Lorena's legend. Once we complete that, then we should have the curse. Nice and simple. Um, it will take me a while, but for you guys, it'll be nice and quick. So first things first, where are they? So let's head over to the map table. Okay, so we can see right here, I'm at Plunder Outpost. And if you look slightly to the left, you'll see the first shrine, which frustratingly is the last shrine we're going to go to so it's really frustrating because it'd be nice to go straight to that one however i want you guys to see that last so that we know that we completed the final challenge so each of the shrines are located around the map so we've got the shrine of tribute here in the southwest there's the shrine of ocean's fortune in between sailor's knot and mermaid's hideaway there's the shrine of the cora tomb which is in between pickering palm soy sands and boulder Cay. we've got the shrine of the hungering uh, we have the shrine of ancient tears we have shrine of flooded embrace so there's six of them that we must complete so what we're going to do is we're quite simply going to go at a left turn what I'll do though is I'll skip all the sailing because the sailing is very boring. Um, and then when we get to the locations, I will go through it step by step, how to complete the shrine and then how to find the journals. Sounds good? Let's do it. Okay, so when you actually arrive here, you'll notice that there's a big plume of color coming out of the sea. What you wanna do is you wanna stop pretty much right where that is. The reason being is the tomb is right underneath. So if we stop here now, you can see that we are pretty much bang on right beside it. This will be useful later. So what we wanna do is we wanna jump straight in and just swim down. Each of the shrines is slightly different. What you'll notice is that the entrance to the shrine is different for each different one. So what we're looking for is an entrance either in through some stairs or there through the entrance in a cave um it could be inside a ship there, there's a few different ways of getting in it really depends for ancient tears the entrance is actually in front of the ship here and it's guarded by a gate which we have to slice um i think it, i don't know what technically what it is it's like a plant so we have to slice the plant and then it, the door will open here we are. So here is the gate. And then as you can see, there's the plant. So we can either shoot it or slice it and the gate will open. And what happens is you'll just fall straight in. Okay, so when you enter, the first thing you want to do is just carry on going down. Head down these stairs here and you'll see you enter this large, large chamber with our friend here. So the first thing we want to do is we want to jump right down to the bottom. We want to head down to that well just there. Now, you can just jump it. I wouldn't advise it because you're not going to come off very well there. I just run down. 
Once you get to the bottom, head round the outside and come over here and you'll find that journal number one is laying right here. So what I'll do with all the journals is I will stop and I will hold them on the screen. I won't hold them too long and that will allow you to read them. Okay, so once you've read the journal, first thing we want to do is we want to drain this well so we can actually head down. What we want to do is we want to climb up these stairs and climb up that ladder directly ahead of us. Once up this ladder, climb the next. And then keep heading round to this room over here. Climb up the stairs. Say hello to our poor unfortunate friend. Keep climbing. And then you'll see this stone diving board as such. Head to the right, enter the room, and you'll see a switch. Click the switch. So first things first, uh, we're gonna go to the end of the diving board. You'll notice that the water has now disappeared. And all we're gonna do is just jump off it. Yeah. Climb out and see the surroundings. So first things first is to run round and find the journal, which is just here. So again, I'll read it. Right, so now the next thing we need to do is actually light these torches with the lantern. So light each one and the door. This is the way out. There's no way out this way. We have to go this way. Here is where the breath of the sea will be if you have got one of the messages in the bottle. We'll cover that in another video. But for now, let's carry on. So climb up and keep going all the way up. Here we go. Now, what you will find is there is occasional treasure around. It is, it is different each time you do it. So it's always good to keep an eye out. I thought it would let me do that, but it didn't. So in order to get out of here, it's quite simple. You just press the switch and that will drop this. Now with treasure in hand, what you can do is that there are mermaids in every level and every shrine that you can store your treasure in. And when you store it, when you go back to your ship, you'll be able to recall it and put it on your ship so you can actually sell it. It's a very useful tool because Trying to drag each one of them one by one would be a pretty much of a nightmare, to be honest. So, where are we? We're back in the we're back in the main chamber. We just dropped down this well, but actually we don't need to go back down anymore. What we do need to do is we need to actually light these braziers all around this room. Let's light the first one. Let's run up to the next one. Now this should be here on each corner. There we go. And what that does is it actually enables the switches. So what we need to do next is to run round as fast as we can and press all the switches down before the first one pops up again. So this start. There's one, there's two, there's number three, number four. And you'll hear a big, noise and you'll see that room up there has opened so what we're going to do is we're just going to run up there okay so once we enter you'll probably find there's some more treasure like laying around around here as well um sometimes i get quite unlucky like there is no treasure to be seen apart from that one skull so far if you turn around and you look at this barrel here there is number five of the journals so i'll read this Okay, so next up, we need to then again light all the torches in this room. And you'll hear another sound. And what that is, is it's opening the door on the other side. So next thing, we're gonna head down there. Okay, so when you enter, you'll notice there's a big chamber right in the middle and also two paths going either way. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna go into the middle path and have a look around. So we've got four separate plinths and each of these plinths has a animal on it. The first one being the butterfly, second the turtle, a third a parrot, and the fourth the crab. What we have to do is we have to complete the puzzles for each one of these 
in order to light the plinths. And as you can see above the door, there are four fires and that will open the treasure room. First off, we're gonna solve the butterfly puzzle and simply is just going into this room, into the corridors, and you'll notice that you can't go any further on either direction. Well, it's quite simply, we need to light all the, as you, again, we need to light all the torches going from the start to the end. So, and if we have lighted all the torches correctly, you'll see the butterfly has lit up nicely. That's puzzle one solved. So now how do we get to the second puzzle? Well, there are switches around the room where you'll notice, like for example here. We need to press these again in a timed manner, just like the switches. So let's do it. Either one, either two, One thing to note actually as well before we carry on is these floor switches here actually open um, if I press one it opens these little alcoves where treasure will be inside again I'm being a little bit unlucky here not getting too much treasure so if you're happy there is a, a mermaid just here so we can go in and store it finally before entering the turtle room um, I just want to draw your attention to journal number four which is here so as you walk in, go past the butterfly and it's standing next to the crab statue, just here. Okay, let's head to the turtle room. Once inside, make sure to fight the coral skellies. Grab any treasure that is inside. And again, light any of the torches that you see into the tower hallway, walk, take the first right, and then take the next right. You'll find the final journal is on the floor. Once all the torches are completed, head back to the start. The switches again control the doors for this room so we can move on to the next. Again, it's timed, so try and be quick. There isn't too much of a risk of not doing it, but it's always good to be mindful. Once all are pressed, the door will open for the next hallway, the parrot hallway, and also the door will open in the back here for some more treasure. Okay, parrot. So again, the same thing again, press the floor and the doors will open. But this time note that the switches are actually inside the doors is light all the braziers come back press the switches so all braziers are lit let's go hit the switches if you do miss one of the switches don't worry just go back to the start and start again there it doesn't lock you out or anything like that so don't worry too much okay finally we have the final room the crab room and go ahead and uh, get lighting all the braziers Again, this hallway is the same as the parrot hallway. There are a few switches which are hiding behind doors. So what we need to do is we need to make sure we press the buttons as we go around. Once complete, carry on and finish the hallways. You'll be back inside the hallway with the butterflies and you can head back to the central room. Once back in the central room, you'll see that the treasure room has opened and there is a few treasure items lying around. What you'll notice though is that there is actually a switch on the floor. Step on it to reveal the, the chest of ancient tributes. And this concludes shrine number one. If you're happy, head back to the ship by clicking the return to my ship option on the mermaid. Once back, uh, first thing you can do is you can see in the water where the plume of smoke is or lights there is a mermaid in the water. So what you want to do is you want to head over and grab the mermaid to grab the treasure. Once all your treasure is aboard, head back to the map and we'll move on to the next one. This one we're going to head to is the Shrine of Flooded Embrace. All right, guys, so here we are. We are now at the Shrine of Flooded Embrace. So in order to get into this shrine, we need to find a shipwreck and we need to enter through the top. 
So I'm going to head straight to that now. Now, there aren't any puzzles in this shrine. This shrine is purely just find as much treasure as you can. Um, one thing to note is make sure you do take some fruit and uh, or food with you because there are a lot of sirens that will attack you. So first things first is to come through this door and then head forward until you get to some stairs just here. Head in and turn round. And right at the end is journal number one. So from here, turn round, head back in the water, swim directly down until you come under the lip of this particular shrimp wreck here. Once you come under the lip, you'll find that there is a brick door just here. Open the door, enter inside, and find journal number two just here. From here, turn round, head back down, uh, keep moving down, head to this plant over here. Shoot it or hit it with the sword and drop it in. Head over to these blanks and there is journal number three. From here, head straight back out again. Uh, you have to hit the plant going out, Brian. Once you go out, swim directly down again. But this time, you are looking for a piece of... Uh, there it is. So swim straight down here, turn around where the statue is, head down, and swim over to this upturned boat just here. And you'll find another piece of coral and journal number four. Finally, journal number five, if you keep swimming down to the bottom, head over to this pit here in the corner where there is some coral sticking out and the brightest of all the coral, you will see that journal number five is directly underneath it. And that concludes the uh, Shrine of Flooded Embrace. If you're looking for the Breath of the Sea, the Breath of the Sea is just here. So it's on the opposite side of the last journal and you would find it there. If you want to escape again, um, just come over to the mermaid and call yourself back to your ship. Back at the map table, our next shrine is Shrine of the Hungering. All right, guys, next up is the Hungering. So unlike all the others, we actually get in the Hungering Shrine through a different way than the actual shrine. As you can see here, there is actually a separate structure uh, to the main structure and we just need to go in through the cave there so I'm just going straight to there now and then when we get in we'll uh, carry on our journey okay so once we enter we want to try and find the first journal the first journal is quite easy to see um, when you come around the first bend inside this tunnel you will see a well, you'll see in the distance over there a skeleton. Make sure to uh, deal with any of the sharks as they come. Unfortunately, this is the shark shrine. There are sharks everywhere. So you want to keep an eye out for them. Come down here and grab the journal from the skeleton. Keep on swimming and swim back up to the top. Okay, once you're in the main chamber, what you want to do is you want to complete the mermaid puzzle. So simply, as you can see here, we need to match the mermaids in the water to the mermaids on the picture and then shoot the conch. And then that will raise the water level to the level up here. And we need to keep doing that as we go along all the way to the top. So first of all, let's go do it. So chain low, gem middle and coral high. Once the gem's in the middle, coral's high. And the chain's low, shoot the conch. You should hear the sound and the water level should rise. Once the water has risen, head over to the platform that was above the water before. Take the treasure onto the geezer and fly over to the top. Before you move too far though, make sure to look around and check for any journals, notably journal number two, which is just here. 
We need to continue solving the puzzle. So as you can see here, I will show you the puzzle and I will show you the completed puzzle. So the puzzle is now complete. Chain high, gem down and coral in the middle. Let's shoot the conch, which is up here. And the water level should rise. Okay, so once the water level has risen, head over to the shore and climb up underneath the cracking bone. Watch out for any coral skellies and deal with them accordingly. Yeah. Once dealt with, head over the spine and up to the next platform. Climb up the mast pole to the other side. Avoid the uh, spray and you'll see that journal number three is just here. Journal number four is actually straight away afterwards. Head over to the platform and then head over to the next platform. And next to some treasure, finally, treasure, uh, journal number four is here. And you'll see a, a jawbone again with one of the plants that you can shoot. Head through here into the final room. Once inside, make sure to kill all the sharks. Once the sharks are dealt with, come back over to the door you just came in and journal number five is right at the front. Once you're happy, store everything with the mermaid and return to the ship. Please note that if you want to get the breath of the sea, that is right here at the top. Let's head back to the map. So next up is the shrine of the coral tomb. Guys, this is the shrine of the coral tomb. What you want to do is you want to be heading to the northwest side uh, so you want to be heading this way and again it's going to be just another door with a uh, one of those plank coral buttons that you just need to hit and then follow it in in fact i can probably even see the coral here already jump down into the pit and enjoy the ride once you're in the pool swim right down to the bottom of the pit and what you want to be doing is you want to be looking for some rocks on the left hand side and you'll see there is a journal right here swim back to the surface and you'll see on the uh, right hand side uh, as you come in or straight ahead as you fall you'll see that there is a giant siren queen and right next to it is the puzzle so you can see there are three options we just need to press them in order so what does this mean? Basically inside this tomb, there are particular switches on the wall like this, and we just need to press them in order. So as you can see, it is gem, then coral, then chain. So we need to find the gem and the coral. Coral second. Once we solved the puzzle, a couple of options will happen. Uh, mind out that you will be attacked by the sirens. Now, next what? Next step, we have to do the exact same puzzle again, but this time for the yellow ones. So as you can see, we need to find the gem, the coral, and the chain for yellow. So there is a second entrance now that gets created, and we can actually follow this round. So the gem is here. Oh yeah, and uh, I found the journal for, without even getting to it. Um, so the journal is here on the left as you come to the first yellow switch. So let's pull that. Swim right down to the bottom and there is an entrance at the bottom here, which will give you the coral. And then finally head right up back up to the top of the surface again and open the or go through the yellow door and into the chain this will open up the red door on the far side once the red door is open we will do the exact same thing again but for the red rooms so if we head in and follow the tunnels out to the west i believe this is the west yes <laughs> Next up, we want to swim to the northeast of the tunnel. Uh, 
which is directly across from where we are now and that will open the coral as you enter the tunnel the, the journal for journal number three is just on the right hand side um go away <laughs> Let's switch the switch and then let's head to the red door. Once you open the final switch, the water level will rise, allowing you to go to the new entrance or new area up here. Once the water level has risen, head over to the new area. You'll find journal number five is here, right next to the, the skeleton that's kind of missing the rest of his body. You'll find the Breath of the Sea is also here. From journal number five, we're gonna move over to the room over there on the west-hand side of the room. Hopefully I can get a good jump. I am completely stuck. There we go, finally. And the journal is in the room here. And that is all the journals for this shrine. Back at the map table, let's head to our next destination, which will be the Shrine of Ocean's Fortune. All right, guys, so Shrine of Ocean's Fortune. So the entrance to this is actually a huge door um, and it's on the north side. So I think I'm in the right direction. So I'll get to the door and then I will show you what to do. Okay, at the door, there is a gap here. So we just swim straight through and out to the other side. And when you come out, you'll realize that you're in the bottom of this chamber. Um, basically, the goal is uh, for this particular shrine is to get to the top. First things first, let's head to the right of the chamber to these wooden planks over here. And you'll find journal number one is right here. Okay, so carrying on, swim around to the left and behind this pillar there is a ladder. Let's climb the ladder. Cross the wooden bridge and you'll find a jail cell just here. Turn left and see in the background a pulley just over there that we must use. So let's head over. This moves this wooden platform up and down. We want to move it down as far as we can go and stop it there. Okay, so once the platform is down, let's head over and jump over it to the other side. And then you'll find a capstan here. Let's ignore that for now and walk straight past. Um, and on the left, you'll see that there is a lever that we can pull and that will open this door here. This will make it easier later on when we need to come back. In the meantime, there is journal number two just here. Now, from journal number two, let's head back to the capstan and let's turn it, moving the platforms around and getting it into a better position for us to carry on. Now, let's take a hop and a jump and a skip over to the other side and up the ladder. Carry on ring three. So you get to another pulley, pull this pulley, and this will drop the mast, which we'll need to move further on. Once lowered, head back down, all the way back to the capstan. You won't be able to jump back up, you have to go back up the other way, which is why we opened the jail door. So it allows easy access back to where we need to go. And when you get back to the capstan, climb this ladder just here, which will take you to a second pulley, which we can move the path all the way back up again to help us continue. Right, carry on over the mast, onto the platform we just raised, onto the mast we lowered, and up to the other side. Keep on running through, deal with the skeletons. Continue at the path, and on the left-hand side, there is a journal here, number three. Okay, from here, uh, you may have to deal with uh, some barnacle boys. 
but they're not exactly hard to defeat. Carry on up to the next cap stand. So this one is slightly different. This one, when we raise it, there will be a timed aspect to this. So we need to just basically jump on and keep moving and try and jump this gap at the right time so that we don't fall and keep it moving until we get to the other side. Keep on climbing up and then you'll be presented with a mast just here. Jump onto the mast to the other side. Keep on moving across the next mast and up the ladder. Keep on moving through and you'll be into the next room where there, there should be quite a lot of skeletons and uh, barnacle creatures, I don't know what they're called, which we need to destroy first. Once they're dispatched, head left into the onto the floor and there is a coral plinth here for the breath of the sea. Also, if you move left from here and actually come around here, you can either go behind here or not. And there is journal number four. Okay, from general four, number four, turn left and head straight back up and across the bridge again. And this time, take a left up these stairs. Across the planks. Round here, across the skeleton. Up on top. And then carry on moving forward. We'll now be in the final room. So you can just leave straight away if you wanted, but we need to find the last journal. Once the enemies are dealt with, let's head up. So we need to keep moving for up to the top. Um, when we get to the top, there is a wheel just here that we need to control. Now, we don't need to just keep pulling it all the way to the end because it doesn't stop. Um, what we need to do is we need to make it so that the platforms are in the right position so we can keep moving forward. Now, this one is slightly too far. We need to get up to this platform here. So we just need to slightly move this. There we go. Jump to the platform. Carry on moving. Now, we get to the next level. We need to now move the, the platform so that the long side is towards us like this. We then need to jump on, move across to the other side. Climb the ladder. And then this time, move the wheel so that the platform, again, is in a position where we can cross. So I think the best thing to do is to put it something like... This time we want to move it so that the mast is about there so that we can jump onto this from here hopefully and then to the other side and then we are pretty much at the end so now we just need to get the journal the journal is just here and that is journal number five we can uh we can carry on moving up to the main treasure over here and then once you've got the main treasure we can leave by the mermaid okay guys so the shrine of tribute this is the final one so the entrance uh, is really simple to find you see that like round circle over there that's the entrance it's just a staircase so when we get there we're just gonna hit the switch and open the door here is the switch and this will open the door so swim down this tunnel and make it to the main room at the bottom. Yeah, there is oxygen here if you need it. So what do we need to do? Well, the main thing with this one is, again, we've got to solve the puzzle, which as you can see here is chain the coral and the gem. Um, they've got to be in the right position. So you've got to remember this middle up, uh, sorry, down, middle and up. But first of all, we need to get some journals. So the first journal is literally right here. As we come down, journal number one.
journal number two, if you swim straight down here through this little gap. Follow it round. Here it is. Journal number three. Keep on swimming. find yourself in a room with some treasure and journal number three is right here head back to where we just were with the statue um, it's kind of like a big lantern that's all I can describe it this thing here and then turn left take some oxygen if needed turn right and here is the gem. Now the gem needs to be high, so we need to put that to the high position. Swim back. But this time, when we get to the lantern statue, turn left. Turn right. And when we get to the Statue with a conch, we turn right again and we're in the main chamber. Head past the idol into this gap right in front of us. Through this gap and out to the other side. And here is the coral. Now the coral needs to be in the middle. So we just need to shoot it a couple of times. Head back down to the centre and then up onto the stairs. On the other side there is the chain and the chain needs to be in the low position. Once the statue is in the low position let's head back to the conch. Shoot it, raise the water. With the water level raised, we can head to this newly accessible area. If we climb the stairs, onto the coral platform, uh, up these stairs, take note of this, um, this floor switch here, head back round across here, take note of this floor switch, and if we can get across here, Journal number four is just here. Also take note of this floor switch here. And finally, if you're looking for the breath of the seat, it is here. Now, in order to continue and get to the last journal, we need to actually press these floor switches in time just like in one of the previous shrines. So, okay, so let's do it. So step on this one. Let's head over to the other side. Step on this one. And step on this one. This should open a secret chamber just below the idol. Unfortunately though, it does release some sirens, which are very annoying. But, let's jump down. In the new chamber, if we carry on going all the way to the end, we'll find a room full of treasure, including the chest of tributes. The journal is right at the end and it is there. 
That should be all the journals and the commendation is yours. Right, let's head back to the ship, head back to one of the outposts and let's go speak to Lorena. All right, guys, here we are. Well, here's Lorena. Sure, let's speak I'm to her and get ourselves the mission. So the mission we're looking for is right here, the legend of the Sunken Kingdom. So let's grab that and let's get on our way. Adventure call. So basically we need to go to the ship and we need to put this down on a voyage table. Once back on the ship, propose the quest and get started. Okay guys, so we've put the voyage down. So what it'll do is it'll give us a compass, which we must follow in order to find the chest. Once we found the chest, the compass will lead us to some more notes, which will provide us with the location of the first of the keys to the chest. There are three keys that we must find, each are in a different shrine. It's a bit of a pain, we have to go to each of the shrines individually that we've already been to once, but I don't make the game. So let's get cracking. I won't bore you with any of the details. I will go into, find, I'll find the chest, I'll find the, the documents, I'll go to the first shrine, tell you which shrine to go to, and then we'll pick it up from there. Okay, so I've got the chest, I've got the notes. So the first shrine is the Shrine of Hungering. Okay, so back in the shrine, once you get to this level where you are at the point where you're climbing up to the end, um, go over here and you'll see like these gold bits on the floor. Well, if you jump over to the spine and keep on going, you'll see a flashing one over here. This is one of the medallions that we need to move forward. So grab that, climb up the spine and up the mast and then here right beside the shark uh the shark jaw or the megalodon jaw there is a door just here just put it there once the door's open what you'll see is a forbidden key and some notes so take the key back to your ship and then we'll reveal the next place once you're back on the ship uh make sure just to keep the key safe uh you can put it in but I did try this earlier and it bugged, so be careful of that. Um, so what's next? Well, the next one to do is Ocean's Fortune. Unfortunately, it's on the other side of the map, but this is just how it is. So I'm going to head over there and I will be back with you once we're in the shrine. All right, guys. So once we get back to uh, this position in the shrine by climbing up both different floors, we need to grab the Gold Hoarders Medallion, which is actually just to the right here um, I just need to climb up over here and it is just here so grab this bring it back oh this is going to be a jump up here climb up and it's actually past the crow's nest um, which is just here as you can see so we need to get on top of here and then put it in the door just here there we go and the next forbidden key is ours so let's head back to the ship and then see where we're gonna go next the next destination is the shrine of ancient tears okay here we are so first of all make sure we take the take the keys and insert them into the chest because we're gonna to need to take the chest with us dive down and let's go in head to the main chamber and in the main chamber you can see the door is here so i'm gonna leave the chest there for a second all we need to get is obviously the medallion. So first thing first is we're gonna to need to complete the floor puzzle again. So run round, opening all the doors. Inside the main chamber, there should be the medallion right here. Let's take the medallion back. Oh, 
open the door. Get the final key. Open the chest. And of course there's another key. Place this key in the altar directly next to you. Which will open this huge door to reveal our secret. So only other thing to do is to read this journal and we have the curse. Now, the only thing left to do is to open the door and get back to the surface. And finally, after much toil, we have the curse. We have finally completed the curse of the sunken sorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you had a really good time watching. I hope you got a lot from this and you, you enjoyed the fact that I went through everything quite thoroughly and showed you exactly where to go and what to do on each of the shrines and I didn't skip much because I think that's the best way to do it because the worst thing is to watch a tutorial and then someone skip halfway through it. Uh, I took some comments on board from my previous video on terms of like um, trying to make it a little bit easier for people to read, to be able to watch, sorry. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I am the Sire Seder and if you do like it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel and please leave me a comment and let me know if there's any other guides that you would like to see thank you so much goodbye